Hi people, hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce, I am based in Kenya, I am a content creator and I'm happy because God has waken me up. I'm so 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 grateful that I have also reached a point to do this content. Uh, as you can see from my background, I'm at home and as you all know, women have a lot of chaos, more especially here in Africa, house chaos are meant for women. So why not, if I'm a, I am an African woman, why not? Today's video is like a morning routine here in village. And because I don't want to just do the, the chaos without doing anything else, I wanted to make this uh, time very, very productive. So I have decided I'll give you a story of a boy who always admired me when I was a little girl. Yeah, as you have seen from the title, he never married me, but it was not my fault. Reason and watch up to the end so that you can know why I did not marry him. Meanwhile, guys, we are going to wash these utensils. I'm going to use to wash them and let me know if you like it in the comment section. Yeah, I have told you I am Joyce. I was best raised and brought up in the village. A very 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 poor village and I always wanted to adventure or to get out of that place or that village by all means so this boy was a very very serious boy and he was a very hardworking boy he was has has uh, he was handsome. I cannot fail to tell you. Um, so it all started like this. We were in the same church <laughs> and we used to do youth practices together. Yeah, as you all know, for those who are in in Africa, we have groups in the churches. You can have a group for youths, you can have a group for men, a group for for children. Yeah. These hours started when we were small, 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 when we were at study school and our parents were also church members. So we grew up together in the church. Yeah. And I think this boy always admired me. And I have told you, I wanted to get out of that place by all means. So we grew up, we had things to do together. When we go to youth lattice, we used to go together. Sometimes when my parents failed to pay for me for the for the youth youth camps, he used to to pay that money for me. And I could go and visit. And my mother was not she was not I think she trusted me very much. Because I used to tell you, by all means, this village, I'm getting out of it. Remember, I was still schooling. And this boy wasn't schooling. Yeah, I think I have to start a bit just to tell you how it all started. Uh, he was a church mate since we were small and that means we were brought up together since our, child, our childhood and also our parents were also the church members of that church 
Uh, in African churches, there are groups. There are groups. Uh, people are grouped according to age. Uh, if you are married woman, you have a group for married people. Uh, if you are man, married men, youths, girls and boys are just combined. And also, we have church school, the, the small kids. They are also categorized according to the groups. So we grew up together. We used to dance in the church. We used to practice many things. And I thank God for that. For I was raised and brought up in church. Yeah, this boy, according to my understanding, or according to my assumption, it seems he used to admire me very, very much. He was a bit older than me. But we are in the same group always. I don't know why. Maybe he didn't want to go to another group so that he wouldn't miss me or, or lose me. So we used to have these conversations with other members of, group, of, of the group. I used to tell him, for me, I cannot be married to a person because he is um, a church member. Now, when I grew up and we started discussing about marriage, things like that, I used to tell them, even if I get somebody who is out of church and he is responsible, and in life he wouldn't make me cry, I'll go for that person instead of a person in the church. And maybe later on, he or she get... get... or... Oh, Change, change for the bad. I think those words used to irritate him. I could see the way the you can you can see from the look how he felt. All this time, I knew he used to admire me. But remember, my vision was I am going to vacate this village by all means. I used to hate that place because it was the poorest of the poorest of the poorest. Start from fetching water from very very long distance for those in kenya you know where Rikipia is based and it is not Rikipia where towns are it's the interior of interiors i thank god i survived that and i thank god because when i go there sometimes i do admire and maybe the hardship that were there in Rikipia are the things that have made me who i am today so when we could we, go, we we went to church groups in those youth group i used to make sure that i deliver that point me i won't get married to someone who is in church remember i was not against the church i was against leaving the the village i used to make sure that i mentioned that that thing daily 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 so as all this were happening I used to be, uh, I was in school, I was in fourth form, and when I reached fourth form, I did not have any feeling about this boy, because I knew I am not getting married to this person. So, and this boy, I think he he used to, to fear me a lot, the way I used to put it, I cannot get married to a church man. Just because he is a church man. I used to... <laughs> Why? God, well, so, when I reached the fourth form, I could hear my mom telling me, that, Nani, I don't want to mention his name. I know he will be watching this. Sorry. I'm sorry for what I did to you. So, my mom used to tell me, Furani was here. So, the boy used to visit remember he has not mentioned anything to me and i was not even interested the reason being i did not want to live in the village anymore okay so even if he admired me or not that was not my my problem he kept admiring me so he used to, to pay a lot, a lot of visits to our home. When he get, my mom doesn't have 
have water, he could go with motorbike and fetch the water for my mom. Hey, my mom was happy. <laughs> and we used to laugh. We used to laugh, right? Hey. In our language, we say, for those who understand our language, where the hero my, if you know, many years, yeah, it means you just around him fetch you water, but just there in mind, me, I'm not interested. So, uh, in those youth things, we used to have a lot, a lot of youth camp, youth camp. We used to have youth camp, and most of the time, my parents were, I think they were overburdened, we were, we were, uh, seven by then. We were seven people in the, in the, in the family. We had, I had seven siblings. So most of the time, when the rallies and camps were announced, I got myself. I was not paid the, the fee to attend the camp. And this man, <laughs> this boyfriend, he wasn't my boyfriend, he was just a friend, but he assumed I was his girlfriend. He used to pay me each and every time I could lack money. He used to pay me. He used to to welcome us to his place. Every time we came out of church, we could go and we just have the, the, the time together. You know, you understand, we, we chatted together. But all this time, he never mentioned to me. Remember, I was schooling, and here in Kenya, it is illegal to to have uh, such kind of relationship with a schooling girl. I think also that one was part of it. Uh, he used to fear. I don't know. I don't know why he did not even mention to me that he loved me. And uh, now. Times, time went and went and went and we did our KCSE. We did our KCSE. And it was like, in that period, people never went to, to colleges. Or at our times, people used to school up to form four. Then you get out of that place, you go get yourself a course and that was it. I think our parents used to reach our de education there and they called it like we are enough to go to the world. So when we complete, I completed my form 4, that's when this boy used, now visited me regularly, regularly, regularly. He used to make sure that he visited our cell, uh, our our home like twice a week before we meet on Sunday. <laughs> uh, I had a very f a good friend of mine, a cousin. Hi cousin, I salute you. And we were very great friends. I have never ha ha had such a, uh, a friend in my life. She was a very, very good friend of mine. And yeah. Every time we wa we wanted to go somewhere, I could just call that friend, uh, that that cousin of mine, and we visited together. Remember, we have just finished our 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 form four, our high school course. Now, I think the boy said to him to himself. Now it is the time for me to propose this car. I remember it was during here in, in, in Kenya, people you always finish or complete their their year at November or October. So it was during the Christmas holiday. <laughs> this one day, it is the day that I said enough is enough. Uh, the boy welcomed us to their home. He had a lot, a lot of plants. Remember, all this time, he has never told me that he loved me. And I was just a friend. I was just a friend. Yeah. 
So I could not have visited the home alone. My mother could not have allowed. And we went with this cousin of mine and her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> he was also a, a church member. So when I reached, we, we prepared ourselves. Initially, my mother has refused uh, us to go. He said he did not want us to visit that place because she did not knew the motive of that that person. Yeah? And before we go on, have you ever heard this person who always admire you, admire you, admire you, and they don't even tell you that I I you are I admire you, you see? Yeah. I think it is good to tell someone. Maybe if he could have opened his his heart, I could have changed my mind. But for me, I have said that be, whether Lens comes or f for, fails to come, I'm not going to settle in that village. Why? It was the poorest of the poorest village. And I wanted to change my life or to change my family's life. Yeah. So... He, he, what would we say that? He invited us to his home for Christmas. Hmm? And we just, we prepared ourselves. We, I have said, if you have not been brought up in, in Africa, Africa women are non go, uh, it is a non, it, they are nonsense. They don't encourage nonsense things. So we had to do some chaos all that week before the, the Christmas so that our parents or our moms, in this case, could allow us to go to the Christmas. Remember, in, in, in the village or in, the, in Africa or in Kenya, basically, if you are the biggest girl in the, in the family, you have to do a job. You are the next mother in that family, in short. Okay? So... We had to make sure that we have prepared our, our other siblings some the the, the Christmas food. Uh, and here in Africa, most of people usually celebrate Christmas, and it is a very big day during Christmas, where people cook and cook and cook things that they have never eaten that. That, that the whole year, it is the time that we just cook those foods. So we had to wake up very early. I told my cousin, you have to wake up, to wake up very, very, very early so that by, by one, we'll be finished doing all our duties, all our chaos, so that we can go and visit, visit, visit that place. And all this time, their mother, the, the, the boy's mother, was very, very nice to me. We used to laugh, we used... And everyone, it's, it's only me, I was the only uh, uh, in my own world. Others believed that this boy will marry this girl. And me, who is me? I refused, I refused. So, we did everything and we are given given we were given permission and we went to the boys it was a it was a walking distance although it is very very far uh, and we were we walked we walked very very quickly when we reached around that place we just stayed at the road in the nearby neighborhood of the boat and someone saw us Someone saw us and went to look for the boy to just... I think everyone was was like, Fulani, has, Fulani is somebody has visited us today. And all this time, me, I knew it was, uh, 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 it was just a local visiting. I never knew it was something that was very, very big. And therefore, I had good intention to go and visit it. 
<laughs> and then we come back to to our home. So when we reached there, the ants he had called the ants, the ant cause, and people were like, they all gazed at me. Yeah? They all gazed at me. And all this time the boy has not told me even I love me. Uh, I love you. He had never mentioned that that thing to me. So when, when we reached in Africa, in Africa, if I show you, if you are saying hi to someone that you really, really, really honor, you usually we usually do this and bed. So we were we are the boyfriend of my cousins, my cousin and me. We were three. So he was toward himself, we become four. We were four members. So when we did they had even slaughtered slaughtered the goat, they had cooked a lot of chapatis, the ants were there, the uncles were there. So when we went, if Rimpodu was gazing at me like this, hey, is it that one? Is it that one? So I was like, what what is going on? I told my cousin, this is a, it's a game plan. So, when we went, the ankles, imagine an anko here in Africa or in Kenya or in Kikuyura, an anko is someone that you, it is, it is a very, very respected person in the family. So, the ankles of this boy were saying hi to me like, they stood up, they, they great my cousin Evie, and the boyfriend when they all reached to me they made sure that i was the last they were like this you see like this they were bedding like that so i was very very much irritated and i said this is the last dish i'm taking from this boy and all this time i was very very much annoyed why why did he do this to me why didn't he even told me that there is something he is cooking? He could have gone straight forward to me and tell me that, Joyce, uh, there is this one. Yeah, and you, you know how, how people who are in love just do. But me, personally, I wasn't in love with that boy. I was just, just a friend and I took it as friendship. I knew he used to admire me, but that one I did not even, it did not even matter to me. So, when, when we went to eat, I only eat meat. Yeah, guys, if you, are, if you ever uh, welcome me to your place, just cook a lot of meat. I usually, I, I love meat very, very much. And uh, I felt so bad, so bad, so bad. And I told my cousin, this is the last meal I am taking from this family. I... He was, my, and my cousin was like, <laughs> she was laughing. I don't know why, but she was very, very happy about that thing. So, we finished the... Now, I started planning what I will do. In case she, he introduces me as his, his boyfriend, I started planning in my head. In case they mention that I am his girlfriend, I will, I will say it frankly. Fulani is my, yeah, we, we called him Fulani. Fulani means somebody. In case he's, he says that I am his girlfriend, I will say, I will say it blank, uh, I will say openly. I will not hide anything. I will just, but so luckily they never did that. So we ate, we celebrated, although I did not have fun. Remember I was very, very much angry. And I never bothered even to, I was just like that. I was moodless. I just felt so bad. And when the, the, the time, remember in Africa or before we left home, we were given instructions. If you reach, if you come here past six, just go back and stay there where you are, you are coming from. So we made sure by four, we started our journey so that by by five or five thirty we could reach home so the boys 
escorted us. Yes, even he did not even mention that he always he is admiring me. I think in his plans, he thought it will work automatically. And when we reached home, I called my cousins. When the the boys just they made sure that we have arrived home, they escorted us up to our mm -hmm. gates. We had good times, but remember, I was very, very, very much annoyed. So everything I said, I said it intentionally to hurt that boy because I was very, very much annoyed. And we called it a Christmas and those things. Uh, so when they, 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 they left us at our gates, I told my cousin, did you see how those uncles and aunts treated me? The aunts were hugging me. Oh, our girl, our <laughs> village. <laughs> village things can make you laugh and laugh and laugh when you come to realize how things worked. They hugged me. They, they praised me all that time. So when I did, did you see how those aunts and uncles were treating me? Did you see? And my cousin was, say, was saying, you mean Flan has not told you something? I said, no, we have not talked anything serious between me and, and him. I told him, I told her, because you usually talk, just ask him what was all that about. But for me, just know I am not even interested. I have always told you, my cousin, that I won't, won't dare to settle in this village. And my cousin was very, very happy. Oh, I miss those days that we used to share with my cousins. Sometimes I feel like going to where she settled. And when I remember that I also settled somewhere else, I just say, I, I, I always call her. I love even when we talk to her. She knows herself. If you are watching this, my cousin, just comment in the in the comment section and my guys just love that girl comment with her uh, comment uh just co tell her on, on my on my behalf that i really, really love her yeah so when we and that thing settled now i knew things were not good in that village and i was very very cautious that this man will not track me anywhere else. So, what I have forgotten to wash the utensils. I want us, by the end of this, this video, or this story, we, we have to complete these utensils. And if you, are, you have watched this video up this far, kindly consider subscribing. Uh, you also consider liking the video. Uh, let me know how you feel about the story. If you are me, what could you have done? So, after that, I took precautions. I made sure that this I will not entertain this boy again. Because for one, he is planning his own thing without not even involving me. And... It wasn't something that was making me so happy and I had declared calm hot, calm hot, I would set on that period. So even if he, he opened up to me and told me what was happening, maybe I could have just told him, he, me, uh, him his, my plans and open to him that he should look for someone else. So, and the cousin, I, I, I was telling, where was I? I was telling how my cousin was happy. <laughs> we laughed and laughed and laughed and we could lock ourselves in a house and talk and talk and talk and my mother used to, what is this that you always talk, talk, talk? Mm -hmm. And we could laugh and laugh and so this boy, uh, from that day, I, I also narrated the whole story to my mom. Guys, 
let me just go and take something there i am coming back Oh, thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. So, what are you doing? Just let me come. Yeah, thank you. So. I narrated the whole story to my mother and my mother was, uh, I think she was very happy for how I narrated I that and she told me, my girl, I won't tell you to get married to that person because he is our friend and their parents are our friends but believe me not, be very careful. If he opens to you, just tell him the truth and he also told me and to be on the safe side don't accept any any gift from that person again if we fail to pay for you those cards just know that we have we are not unable to pay those things and accept it don't be that person that uh, a man or a, of someone can take advantage of your your short short comments or if you uh, don't accept anything from that man that's how we settled and now we we went back to church as normal he was very he felt as he has he has achieved achieved and I, I usually got very, very irritated. I, 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 I even remember I did not attend church for two weeks. I was very, very much annoyed with that thing. And again, when they realized that I have gotten to Sundays without going to the church, they came as youth. They, they influenced other youth to come and look for me and when they told you they, they told me they asked me what was the reason what was the reason i did not i'm not going to start i told them the reason why i'm not coming to church is that there is something happened that i was not very happy and I want to discuss to you what happened to me. Just know that I will come when my heart will. Uh, the following Sunday, I just went to church. And this man never told me again about anything. The only thing I told my cousin, if you happen to talk to Furani, Furani, I said, is someone, just tell him I was not happy the way he... he the way he did on Christmas Day, I wasn't happy because if we fail to get married to you, if I fail to, to get married to that person, his parents will assume I was a bad person. I only wanted to eat them. And I, I really liked to clear my name. I did not want to have a bad name in the village because if you happen to have like two instances, instances that you have done something is not good, then all villagers will be always on look look out. And they will like if 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 you have you, you want to start to settle with somebody, they have talent to tell watch that girl. Don't go near that girl. So I felt so bad. I told him, let him know that I wasn't happy. And my sister, uh, my cousin, I, I, I guess he, she went ahead and told that man that Joyce was not happy about how he, he approached me. He has never told me and he has told the 
the currents. Guys, I usually have some difficulties in in English, so just bear with me. Uh, accept my accent. Accept my accent because it's like that, okay? So, that is why we never got married. Why? Because he never proposed to me. He just did his own thing. Introduced me to his family without my knowledge. Like that, like that. My, my advice to other men who are looking for wives if you are admire that a person and you feel this person is the person that I want, just let them know. You know, I'm not saying I'm in love you, with you, but I usually admire you. In that perspective, the girl will start thinking, am I going to settle with this person? But if you just spoil or spoil your, the admirer, uh, you, because you just admire that person, you will lose finally, and you will feel cheated. You will just feel cheated every time you come across across girls. I'm advising men from an experience that if you admire someone, just let them know. Don't just keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Assuming this person will see that I'm spoiling her with gifts I'm doing I have introduced her to my parents How how can I how can I how can I come to a place or get married to you? If you have not even told me about it how that one cannot work Yeah, and I feel there need there is need for some people or some people who are or professional to just guide the youth how to do it because you see I think even that man if up to date he always see me as a as a gold searcher because he used to pay a lot, a lot, a lot of fees to me, a lot of many things. But one thing he has never told me is what you wanted with me. So I, I came out of that village. I went to, to other towns. And finally, I ended up here. You can see. Uh, I did not hit that boy because of the poor, of the... Of being poor because as you can see I'm not also rich we are also struggling with life but the only one thing that I made me to hate that boy was how he he approached how he approached he never told me that he loved me he never we never have a discussion about me me and him all we could do is to have discussion about the church about the the work, nothing beyond that. So, sorry, if you are watching this, sorry, you never approached me. That's why I never get pulled. Maybe you could have changed my mind. Although I had said that I, I will never settle in that video. If you approached me on the right way, maybe I could have changed my mind. Yeah. So if you are a man, most of the time we believe a man here in Africa, most of the time, we believe that men are the people who, are, who approach women for marriage and for such kind of things. So just approach that girl that you want. Let her know your feelings toward her. Don't just ask, uh, assume that spoiling her, spoiling her will make her love you. A serious girl will never love you because of what you give. It is the 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 bond that you create you create 
between you and her. So, giving gifts, I don't think it is one of these. And that one, I think most of men here in Africa or here in Kenya use that one. Hmm? I don't think it is the best thing to approach a girl for my. Yes, gifts are good. Hmm? Gifts are good. But should you use the gifts to, con to convince a girl that you love her? You don't know that you love her and you are spoiling her, you are buying cars for her, you are, you are um, paying trips for her. That one cannot make a girl love you. Uh, just go direct to the point. Nowadays, everyone knows about love. Eh? I don't think there is someone who doesn't know about the love. And so, for the small men that are all over, don't assume things. Approach her. The only worst thing that woman can tell you or this girl can tell you, it's a no. Eh? And when you approach a girl, just approach her expecting a no or a yes. Huh? You may approach someone and maybe that someone is seeing another person. So, if you get a no from a certain lady, just accept. Huh? Don't, you know, it is uh, my art to men. Don't be secret admirer. If you admire me today, hmm, and you feel this is the woman that I want, don't start spreading on that person. Create friendship first, create the both first. Let the girl know about your feelings. Hmm, so that you can know this, this girl that I admire a very lot, that I love very much, is she with someone else. If she is someone else, you are still in the market, go and look for another girl, okay? Don't start spoiling that or making efforts to try to win this girl from the person that they are in. That's where you fail. Don't pressure yourself too much, spoiling the girl, girl with the gifts, doing things for her so that he can leave the other person to come to you. Don't. If it's, she is meant for you, just tell her the truth. Tell her, this is what I feel about you. Are you seeing someone? Are you for it? If you are not for, obvious for the first time, the girl would discuss. Even if she is not dating someone else, she would tell you that, yes, I am for it. No. Just ask, go straight to that, ma to that girl and ask her, are you seeing someone? If she says yes, just pause. Just let know her. Yeah, I was asking you this because I was in very much love with you. And if you are seeing someone else, let me continue with my journey of searching. But if you try to spoil that girl time, time, time and again, you lose your money. And the girl will end up with someone else where you will feel that you have lost. You have lost. I'm not good in English. Okay? Bear in that. So, my urge to uh, this gentleman, before you spend even a coin on your... Yeah, you can call that girl for a date. That one is acceptable. But beyond that one date, don't keep on spoiling that girl. Because that's where you are fading. That's where you are losing your money. That's where you are losing your cars. That's where you are losing your self-esteem. That's where you are losing your everything. Because you have pumped, pumped, pumped on one person who is not even interested. Okay? She is only there to eat you. They are, they are bad women. Okay? If I continued, I knew in back in my mind, I am not going to settle in this village. Actually, the big, <laughs> the big thing that is discodified this this boy was the first, first, first thing was because he was in that village. And in my life, I wanted to change. I did not want to settle in that village. I did not. I did not. So after the party, after the Christmas party, if I kept 
kept online him that or I pretend that I was her very vibe or person. Uh, maybe he could have lost, lost, lost a raft of money. And when the times come for engagement, all this, I refuse. You see, that man could have lost a lot, lot of things. So, and for you girls, for you women, if you are not interested in someone, please, 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 kindly don't accept gift from men. That's why where you are messy, okay? And thank God because I have just remembered that because it is trading everywhere about the A, 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 A and B, A, the, that those houses that are being left, B and B and that something. So if you are not in stress, interested, just say no. You will not be beaten by someone of saying no. You will not be beaten by anyone by not accepting gifts that you are not interested with the, 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 the gift giver. Okay? Just be free. Be kind enough. Assume he is your brother. Eh? You are taking, someone is taking gifts and money from her. And back in that, in your mind, you know this person, I'm not settling with. I'm not ready for this. Just be frank. Be frank. Okay, guys. You see, I have washed all the dishes. The only remaining is this sufurias. Let us keep on. And uh, back to our content. I'm so sorry for the, uh, the, guy, the guy that that I did not I did not even accept him. I am so sorry and I am according to the information that I have because he is my neighbor he relocated later on <laughs> that's the funniest thing he has never even I think he was told by someone just refuse to because you live in this village <laughs> yeah, I think that one and he settled and has a good family. I also set up and I have a very good family and a very nice one. So, uh, according to the my content, I I told you that I changed my content. I'll be having such talks with you in this content. I have I have a lot of time with you guys. I want to share experiences. I want to cook with you guys. I want to travel with you guys. And traveling, maybe I due to my family, my young family, I cannot be able to travel to travel far, far, far. I only going to be traveling from this place to this place within Kenya. Tata, you have wake up. So that's my boy guys. So we will have a lot a lot a lot of talks. And the main agenda here, there is this one one niche. I want to go little by little by little until we reach to that. I think that will be our niche. I have very very good things in store guys and if let me just let me just finish with this or I have just finished with the viewers. Let me finish. So I have always wanted to share this this story with women and um, recently I heard about girls in Kenya and the houses. You know, you know, you know guys. I don't want to mention that name because I might lose this content. Uh, YouTube might disqualify this because of mentioning that name. Mm, they might say that I am trying to advertise the, the K word. So, girls, I think that's why you are being, 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 being done that, that. If you only take precautions 
of how you are breathing, how you are taking gifts from men, or how you are frank to yourself. You know that this person I'm not taking. I'm not. I'm not for this person. Don't take even his gifts kindly because. Here in Kenya, we usually say Kitakuramba. You see? Kitakura? Yeah. The best advice is just don't take gifts from them. Let them know you are working. You can buy things for yourself. You can go. Yeah, that's it. And that's how I never get married to my very fight. <laughs> It wasn't my fault. It was his fault. He never proposed. He used to give me gifts, but never proposed. He wanted me to just follow him without him proposing to me. If you have seen this video for the first time, kindly consider subscribing to my channel. I'm Joyce. I'm Joyce Helena. And also follow me on Facebook where I post some very, very interesting posts and follow our page. Thank you guys for viewing. Thank you for liking the video. Make sure you like the video. And until the next video guys. Sha. Bye.